Yeah, like the longer you look, the more that there is. Okay. Like I, I really like it. Well, I have a youth mentor, and we we're just like talking. She goes, "Oh, I have someone I want you to meet." And then she gets on the phone with Erica, and Erica was like explaining this whole thing. I was like, "Wait, am I able to actually do something like this? Where do I sign up? And how do I do this? Because this is like the best thing ever." Up to the top, up there. We're going up to the pet house to ask for some money. <laughs> so last year, we started looking for places and applying for grants, basically, to be able to afford to paint the mural itself. Meeting up with the group of us, basically trying to figure out how much space we had, how much time it was going to take, how many supplies we were going to need, as well as come to like a conjoined decision on what we wanted the mural to be, what we wanted it to say or represent. Kind of get into this computer world here, and I'll show you how I would lay out a mock-up of a mural. It's just all shapes, you know, at least starting out, and then you can yeah. refine the shapes. We turn that part purple. Oh yes, yes. In 2016, Mesa County definitely saw a huge rise in suicide, and if you looked at the numbers, a lot of it was our youth. Um, the rates just continued to rise, and I think that that left a lot of professionals and school staff kind of at a loss. And I think at that time, a lot of the youth weren't feeling heard. Got you. There was a community meeting that was held and the youth were really able to stand up and share their voice and said, we want the mic and, and we want to be heard. And that's really where the movement of We Have the Mic came in. I mean, also, it's pretty easy to highlight it though, if it is. We have the mic. Mm -hmm. Just put like wider on, which is kind of... This, this experience, like the mural that we're doing, is kind of going to be the first time that uh, any of my art is really public at all. It's kind of validating. People are like seeing and acknowledging like what we're trying to do. And also the fact that it's like a group of us working together, we get like a sense of community with it. Those are the... Um, I like that one, yeah. I think. It's more light. Yeah. How do we approach um, these mental health concerns with this new generation? And so that's where this movement has kind of implemented not only art, but music, and um, most of all, just connection and connecting with each other um, so that healing can begin to take place. TJ. What's up? Should we like put the tents closer or leave sure. them how they are? Huh. I mean, we have like a certain amount of days we can paint or. I actually, at the beginning of this project, really wasn't familiar with most of the faces. I think it's been fun. I've been able to meet new people. We all definitely work together well. And it's really cool how we can all just come together as like strangers, because we all have like the same motive, but all like different ideas how to go towards it and work together and even like form relationships and stuff. I mean, painting a mural, that, that's just really cool. I've never done something like that before. Okay. Congrats. If, you're, if you're confident in me, then I'm confident in me, okay? Good. Uh-oh. My hope is we have like a darker green so I can paint little blades of grass full of these flowers. I personally um, connect to the message of wanting the mic. Since I was quite a bit younger, I've had my own struggles with mental health and um, I feel like not everyone can really take it seriously. It is irritating to say the least to have everything you say dismissed or being told that Effectively, you don't matter until you grow up. You just grow up and then suddenly you matter. It's not right. 
So we have the mic now. Yeah, this is my life. This is my mental health. I'm taking back what was meant for me to, to control and have control over. I hope that people understand that it's important to listen to other people and what they have to say, whether that be adults or youth talking to each other. It needs to happen more often for kids to be able to just have a say in what's going on in their life. Through healing comes connection, and when we're putting together these different community projects, the youth are empowering one another to um, share their voice and share their ideas on how we can better support each other. I'm taking my mic back, speaking for myself. We have the mic. 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 Come watch the skyline